So what's up? I'm here at my favorite park. Walk. I just walked, by the way. Uh, what was that? Like 6,100 steps and some change, which was about three and a half laps, I think, something like that. So I've walked, I've walked, I've walked, and I'm down to 233 pounds. So when I started, for those who don't know, I started at 257 pounds. So the 233 now. By the way, there's these four guys over here who are fishing in this lake. And there's, there's really, I don't think there's any fish in this lake. I they're ducks. <laughs> but the water is like really, really choppy because it's kind of windy out here. And they look like idiots. But what are you going to do? <laughs> what, what are you going to do? I've never seen anybody fish in this lake before until these four guys. And they keep moving over and over. And the thing is, is that when they move, they keep their line in the water and they just drag it through the water. They're stupid. I don't know. I mean, I don't know a damn thing about fishing, so maybe I'm the one that's stupid. But anyway, so the weight loss program is moving along at a pace that I'm cool with. Uh, one thing I've learned about weight loss is that you don't want to lose too much weight in a short amount of time. But first of all, it's unhealthy. And two, it's only temporary. So I know that. And I was walking, I was thinking about weight loss and diets and all that stuff like that. And to me, I think the worst thing about a diet that we can believe in is the weight we're going to lose. I mean, that part is probably real. But the other part to think about is that unless you make permanent changes to your lifestyle, unless you're willing to change the way you eat forever, you know, and change the way you move around forever, then whatever you're doing right now, <clears throat> is temporary. I mean, you think about this. Let's say you lose 30 pounds on a diet. And that's what you wanted to do. You wanted to lose 30 pounds. And then let's just say that you, know, you reach your goal and then you're back out there eating, you know, fried chicken and fried shrimp and fried this and fried that and mashed potatoes and fries and onion rings and drinking wine and all that stuff. And next thing you know, you have put 20 pounds of that on and it's only been about two months since uh, you put 20 pounds back on that you've lost of the 30. And it's only been like two months since you lost the 30. That's dangerous. It's very unhealthy. But it just goes to show that if you're not willing to make changes, permanent changes, then you're kind of wasting your time and your money. Because diets are not cheap by any stretch. You know, so if you're going to want to lose the weight, you're going to want to put the work in. Why just piss it all away because you reached your goal and you go back to your old habits? It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe it makes sense to you. It just seems like if you're not willing to change because really diet is really not a good word. What you're doing is you're on a weight loss journey. It's a journey that'll never end. I'm not saying, and I learned this from Sean Stevenson, who is an incredible nutritionist, an incredible author, an incredible podcaster, an incredible person, you know, uh, based in St. Louis, is that, you know, if you want to eat some potato chips, eat some potato chips, but don't eat the whole bag. Just because you bought a bag, even those bags you buy at the gas station, even if you bought a bag of chips, don't mean you have to eat them all right then and there. That could last you two or three days easy or more or not. It just depends which way you want to go, but it's a choice you have to make. You want to go out with, with, the, with, the, with, your, with some friends and have a seafood platter and wherever your favorite seafood restaurant is, you want the fried fish and the fried shrimp and the fried clams and the French fries and the clam chowder. Well, have it, <laughs> have it, but you can't have that every day. And once you have it, you know you're going to have to make some adjustments that week so you can stay on track. It's all, it's all about adjusting. And not, if you deny yourself things, and this is what I've learned, if you deny yourself things, you're going to give in to it eventually. And then when you do give, it, give in to it, you're going to wreak some damage <laughs> that you never thought you could do. And you don't want to do that. So when you want to indulge, indulge, but make adjustments. Make adjustments, that's what you gotta do. This is forever. 
you know, this is forever. This is not something when my goal weight is 200 pounds and I'm at 233 now, started at 257. This is an adjustment, man. This is not going to be like I'm going to go home and just jack up a pizza. I'm going to eat the whole damn thing. You can't do that. And the older you get with those same eating habits, the shorter your lifespan is going to be. I'm just telling you the truth. I keep thinking about the guy I watched on YouTube. He says, you know why you don't see 60, 70, 80 year old obese men? Because they don't live that long. Get your walk in. And, and, and since the weather has broke for most of the country, you know, walking, this is the time to make it a habit. Make it part of your lifestyle. Make it a habit that you'll walk. So when fall rolls around again, the weather starts to get cold, you'll find a way to get your walk in, whether it's in a mall or on, I hate treadmills. I don't like treadmills. They're boring. But if, you're, if you get into the habit of walking and your body craves the walk, you'll walk the treadmill, right? Take the stairs. I'm telling you stuff that you've heard over and over again and you know, you ain't stupid, you know. <laughs> you know. You know what you're supposed to be doing and now's the time to do it. Why pay into that pension and you can't even live off of it because you, you won't be able to live? That's stupid. Come on, man. Get on this journey with me. A couple of pounds a week. That's it. That's all you got to do. You know? Get your exercise in. Get your walk in. There ain't nothing on TV. There's nothing on TV. I mean, come on, man. Seriously. You want to look like they look on TV, but you don't want to put the work in. Oh, they have plastic surgery. Nah, not all of them. <laughs> not all. Let's be honest. Not all of them. Quit hating. Come on, let's do this together. Walk with me. I'll talk to you later.